It stood for more than 100 years, but came down in just a matter of minutes. A Castleton dairy farmer had to watch his barn go up in flames. Paul Peter is the owner. He's also a town judge in Skodak. Our Craig Smith spoke with him and his wife tonight. Craig, I guess they do have uh, quite a few friends around helping them out, so that's the good news. They really do, Craig. Uh, that's important to them. This fire began this afternoon and killed 28 young animals that would have grown into milking cows. About five hours after it started, Mr. Peters spoke to me as he watched some of his neighbors and other people who know him still putting out parts of this fire. I see this as a lot of it that my father and uncle built on their own efforts and that. And then when I got old enough to get out of high school and that, I was looking at a section of a barn that I helped build with my father and all these things we did, thinking that we were making improvements on our place. And we had a, always a pretty good life here and that. And then today, things have changed pretty drastically. He says the worst part is the cows he could not save. Working near the barn when he noticed the fire, he grabbed an extinguisher, but the fire kept him out. His wife, Jan, was also home. My son yelled, Some, there's an awful lot of smoke, Mom, something's on fire. He was holding his three-month-old daughter, and he ran out of the house to see where the fire was. I ran out behind him to grab his three-month-old daughter out of his arms, saw the barn was in was blaze ran back in to call 911 for a while the wind was blowing this way and the firefighters actually did hose down this side of the house so they saved the house most of the cows were outside and not injured another farmer scott swartz is taking care of them at his place we got them loaded up brought them to our farm where we have room for them we're going to let them settle in overnight get acclimated to the new place and, and they won't give a lot of milk for the two or three days they'll they'll hold their milk up and they won't let their milk down and It'll take a while for them to get used to it. I mean, I've seen it happen to other people, and now that it's us, it's just like, okay, where do we go now? <laughs> you still need a, it's not, we will need a barn. I don't know how, and I don't know how we're going to do it, but somehow we'll do it. Now we'll have to regroup and decide what we're going to do. And again, we've been here 100 years. I'm not going to move away tomorrow. I'm here for the long haul. Fire Chief Matt Kiner said they were still looking into what started the fire. Police were there, too, but Kiner said there's nothing to suggest that it might have been set. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.